Hey guys, I'm back with another video. We are going to talk about people taking their own lives and how it happens and why it does happen. So let's get into it. So this is how it goes. Okay, so first off with the COVID, loads and loads and loads of people have been moaning and groaning about COVID and suicides okay so i'm going to break it down for you guys right covid okay yeah covid is all over the place okay all over the place there there's people passing away day after day after day 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 okay but it's more attacking people attacking people like this like you walk on the road there right it's like getting stabbed Right, you walk on the road there, gone, gone, gone. Next one walks on the road, gone, 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 gone. It's like, tag, you're it. Tag, you're it, you're dead. Tag, you're it, you're gone. Tag, you're it, you're gone. Tag, you're it, you're gone. That's how many um, did you tag there? About one, two, three, four. Spout. Lost count after five. There, and that's what COVID is. It's like tag your it. Keen has it. COVID. That's what it is there. It's more attacking people, okay? That is the only way I can explain it, right? It's attacking people. COVID is, right? That's all it is. It's, it's attacking people is what it is there of their health. Okay, attacking people there, putting people into hospitals there, like that there. Hopefully, they can get this situation over and done with now, soon, in the new year, in year 21. There, unfortunately, hopefully they get it done. Because it's been going on for too long. Okay, too long. Right, so, now this sad part. They're all sad parts, but this is the much sadder part. Suicides, okay. They pick to be in this situation of ending their lives. They pick it, right? But before that, okay, it's not it's not easy. Oh yeah, it's easy to, to get through um, all this uh, suicide. <laughs> you joking me? Not a chance, man. Not a chance, right? This is how it goes down for the suicides, okay? For the suicides, how does it start? You don't wake up one morning, oh, my life is shite. Like that. It doesn't work that way. All it does is this. It can cause by, oh, someone bullied me in there online. Because there's loads of people there, right? Make fake accounts there and say mean, hurtful stuff to get you into that situation of ending your life. It absolutely... They, everyone does it there, right? People are jealous of other people there or like, oh, you took my ex-boyfriend there, you texted him this, she texted him that there, blah de blah, blah, blah there. And then they go onto social media there, make a fake account there. And then just like attacking her, attacking her, attacking her, attacking him, attacking him, attacking him. Down to the ground there, knows their phone number there. Keeps get, sending in phone calls after phone calls there to get one of those things from um, one of those kitty yokes there to have a little microphone there and it's just like different little voices there you know what i mean right those little walkie talkies that they have there for for parties and all and it has different damn um, sounds on it there's like i want you to kill yourself nice and easy okay so why not you're gonna die anyway better you better get to, to you better off doing it now. Because it makes more sense. No. Do it now. So we'll be all happy. You got that? Do it now. And you'll be much happier. So it'll be all different kind of voices. There. Ringing you. Like this there. To end your life. There. We. Everyone has seen it. Right? You see other people there get different email. Random emails. Who is hack 
21842 pff, a pile of numbers on their hat gmail.com or hat yahoo.com there and then it says yeah you, you might as well i know everything about you i know exactly where you live i know this i know that there they scare the shite out of you okay and then all they're doing is looking through your social medias there your snapchats there on instagram there right and even facebook there they have all your information oh i know exactly where you work you work in this there don't you how the fuck's sake there right powerful place isn't it and then what happens then it gets all bad situations then the poor old person cannot sleep whatsoever for the onlines they're like the people that get bullied on on social medias these days and emails and phone calls they're like that you know dreadful stuff there and then what happens then they decide then hmm if i do this thing to myself now i don't have to hear nothing whatsoever they'll leave me alone then i'll be rest in peace then that's the only way i can do it because it's be, like it's been i don't know how many years three years out of now and i've been taking tablets and drugs and this there to keep me calm there and it's still not working there i keep looking at my phone there i can't live without my phone there and what happens then you all guys know funerals tomorrow guys you know what i mean for the onlines now for the ones that you get bullied in school there so you go oh, yeah you think you're a hard girl aren't you yeah look at you bloody bloody blah oh look at this man there with a pile of books there little first year let's get this la he fresh meat let's go for him yeah and then they go from there bloody bloody blah in school there you know and then what happens then is that they're walking home to the bus or on the bus there just still slagging them there's like jeez ma'am i don't want to go to school i want you not have that bad i'll walk you to school okay oh hey mrs um mrs um bloody bloody blah name there oh hi you guys there's some fellas there what's wrong with you you joking me they be mean i got punched i got pushed around in the toilet there. i'm afraid to go to the toilet there i'm afraid to have lunch there all i do is go to the janitor's room and have me lunch there or hide in my bedroom all day why bullies and people slagging me and people have a great time there of their super lives on instagram and social medias on the beach going away there without getting bullied and slagged that great life there and what do i have i get bullied and slagged all over outside social media it is not cool and even when i'm sleeping there i'm like this night ma'am you're wide awake there in your bed there looking at the ceiling there hey when's the last time we actually painted the ceiling i don't know actually yeah yeah oh well oh yeah school tomorrow oh, for fuck's sake what age are you i'm ugly i'm ugly in first year so i'm only 13 or 14 there and it's just not good there and so that means then i have how many years of school left then so until i'm 18 then i'm out of school so to keep up this shenanigans until this time <laughs> for folks eek. <sighs> too long and what happens then they either plan their suicide which they do they plan it then which way is the nice way to go it okay and it's just dreadful it is hit by a train hang or cut the wrists properly there and then oh it's funeral tomorrow guys you know it's just not cool whatsoever there you know what i mean i just like like you can talk to anyone, right? There, out there, right? But there's only one problem. 
is right they t say just try and stay away from uh, these bullies and online there just try and stay away yeah but like so you want me to hide all the rest of my life basically no that's not what we're saying we are saying that see there they're trying to like like turn it around do you know what i mean on you yeah but like anytime if i go to the shops they're like i'm afraid to move out of my comfort zone there, there could be fellas there annoying me from school and i don't like it at all there well we can uh, so tablets don't work staying out of school or homeschool doesn't work for you i know what you're going through it's like no you haven't a fucking clue why is that can you explain that one because the psychiatrist whatever that makes you like trying to get get you back on the road then as a normal human being right as in no worries about anything there you can actually go to sleep at night there look at your phone without getting all these texts and emails and this that the other and whatever it is of so of um bullyings right yeah mm -hmm. and even if it comes to like your girlfriend died or your mom your mommy mom or your dad granddad died or your brother died or your sister died <gasps> and it's just like there's people talking about the problems there right they can talk to all the problems all you want but the people there haven't a clue about well i'm fine hey how are you how's it going shake their hands there okay or a little fist bump all right there sit down there now and um so we, i hear you're going through some terrible things in your life yeah not proud of it either like i kind of feel dumb saying this i'm at the age of this stage there and then they talk about the problems there and this that the other there and some people actually like sure look that's life there move try and move on there like once like there's people out there can actually actually tackle the problems that they have there but it's very harder than you think but that's why people talk about it on social media is there, there because social media these days is the top what's the word for this people will actually look at people like if you post up a video or a little post there in a minute in a minute's time or half a second time you get a pile of shares pile of likes a pile of everyone known around your area and then you'd be like whoa everyone knows my story now that's what i want there it's like oh my god i didn't even know this i thought i thought you're like the cool kid there that never gets bullied or never gets this that the other or never gets sad about life or anything there and it turns out you actually do i was like yeah oh shit i'm very sorry i didn't know jesus jesus and there's me moaning about my life there as it's like they have it worse than you yeah oh that's not good no it's not good see there's all the people right that go into sitting down there telling them what to do there or psychiatrists like i'm not a psychiatrist but i know that like they go in there talk about the problems there and then they have like little hacks then as like okay so how about this then you tell the teacher right you don't want to go toilet there okay just say can i use the teacher's toilet there and then tell them the problem there these guys there's like grand that is no problem there but don't get me wrong it's not easy as you think of doing that because like there's loads and loads of people right are like scared to say what they are feeling about depression life is the word depression life and that's why people decide that's so like wait if i end my life now that means then i don't have to listen to these bullies there and, and i can rest in peace without no one no one knowing about what do i do did this that the other rather than listen to anything then there will be sad on my family ah sure look i'll do it and get over and done with and then bam
So with the depression life, right? And um, so you're just going into the schools, into whatever it is there. Try and it's not easy as you think, right? I already said that like a couple of sec se seconds ago, right? But it's not easy as you think. As like, oh, just tell them what you're feeling and all there. No, because in your gut and your body system, the body system was like, don't tell no one there. They said not to. They said not to tell anyone there. Don't tell it there. You look like a freak. You look like a freak. I'm telling you, don't say nothing. I know, I know, I know. But it's your own fault. I don't know how it's your fault, but it's your own fault. There, don't say nothing. Ah. And then some people actually have it in them. Right, I'm sick of this shite there of this. Put me down there. There's the fucking teacher there. Grab her. Grab her titties or something there to get her attention. <sighs> teacher! What? I'm being bullied in school by this two gobshites here. This one and this one. There. I'm sick, no, we haven't. They have. There. I'll tell you how. There. Or I can just mention it in front of the whole class for you there, because I ain't pappy there. I'm I'm this close to calling the cops on them there or murdering those two there. Some people have it in them there. You know what I mean? Those are the people that have it in them, right? Yeah. They're like Whew, I can't believe I actually done that. I cannot believe I actually spoke up and done that. There in front of the class. I am so chuffed with myself. How the hell did I do that? Or even if you go home, ma'am, dad, oh, I'm watching TV. You got a problem with that, son? I'm watching the All Ireland. Real local passion. Yeah, the dubs are up by two points. There, what's the story? Okay, I'll come back. I said, like, hey, you know what? Fuck that. Dad, what? So you're standing in front of the TD now, huh? Don't you think you're the big man? Yeah, I am the big man there. Go on, hit me or dare you. And then eventually then you say, yeah, I've been bullied in school. I've been bullied on social media there. They get random texts there. Do you want to see them? And you're like, here, there's a text there. Read them. Um, wife, come here, please. What's up? Look at this. What are you gonna do about that? Hmm? Um shit. And then there's your son upstairs crying his eyes out. Now I can hear him. That's not good. No, it's not good. What do we do? Well, hopefully we can sort out this problem. And then they ring the guards down, this happens there, this happens there. They track it down properly, the guards do there. This, that, the other on social media is there. Like that, they, they can look back on your, all your texts there. Even though you could, couldn't, you, you can delete them, yeah? Right? They can actually trace it back all the way back since it started. The guards can. There's always, le there's always ways that you can do it. The guards can do it. Right? Literally, it's all like hacks and this, that, the other there. They read through emails, they read through everything there. And it's not easy, easy the way to speak up, but they'll be like, what the hell? What? My son or daughter spoke up and talked about this problem. And then equals famous because you spoke up and told the problem to them there. Like that. Other people... Unfortunately, right? Unfortunately, and it's very sad. Not funny at all. Okay? They go six feet under. They do. As in, burial grave. There. Because they couldn't speak up and they couldn't face those scary bullies there. And I don't blame them. It's not easy as you think. There, they say, do not mention that to anyone. I fucking mean it. And then it could be even worse the way I'm doing it to you guys on this camera. There, way worse there. Because there is people scary out there with their, the way they look at you. With their eyes and their face expressions. There and all. 
and then you'd be like, I won't, I swear I won't. And they're almost taking the like the big mangly or the big woman mangly girl out of you there. And you're like, I won't, I won't. And then you're going home crying your eyes out there. It's like, this is the only way, this is the only way. I swear to God, I'm scared of this person. Uh, it's like, yeah, like what's your mom and dad going to do, huh? Yeah, think about it, like. And then you'd be like, bye bye. This is the only way. Like that, unfortunately. But for my little opinion is that they kind of chose, but it's not easy as I, as you you think there. Do you know what I mean? It's nowhere near it at all there. Like people have problems there. People are afraid to talk about their problems there or even their family life uh, problems there. They're afraid to say something there because they were like, hey, did you say something about this, that there? Why? Why did you say that there? Or even like, oh, my mom and dad have been slapping me around since I was eight and they're still at it. There, I'm 20 something years old now. There, if I, if I don't eat my um, peas or my fruit and veg, there, I get the one spoon. Or something like that. Do you know what I mean? As it's like, something like that there will drag you down and I'll just be like, oh shit. All together. Do you know what I mean? I just kind of like, it depends on what kind of parents you have as well on top of that there. They could be dumping problems on you in life about anything. Anything there. It's like, dude, I have my own problems there. And you're scared to even talk about it there. Because they'll say, they'll probably say, oh, so what, so what, deal with it, deal with it. That's life. Yeah, okay. Well, fine, I will deal with it then. And then what happens then? Suicide. It's like, yo, oh, the world is against me, as in, like, people are against me out there. They won't do nothing. They're against me there. Can't even say nothing. I'm too t terrified there. Like, you'd be rattling like a puppy dog there, rattling in a the corner there, thunder, lightning, any bangs go off. You're rattling behind a chair or something there. And you know what they'd be thinking of? <sighs> Just knock myself out. It's the key. Do you know what I mean? So it ain't easy for two ways. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. It is. As in suicide. There. Or you you face your fears. There. And you have to power through. There. There's loads and loads of people out there. Power through it. There. Right? In the world. They power through it. Depends what kind of person you are all together there. If you're some fighter or some, um, basically a fighter, fighting through, like, disease that you have or whatever it is that's going on in your life there. And you battle through it there. Could be, like, money saving or could be, like, I was homeless there. Look where I am now. I have a house. Now I'm fucking happy. Do you know what I mean? I think you'd be like, yes, this is the fucking thing. I did it there. I cannot believe it there. I burst through that bubble there. Put all my heart and soul into this. Into this now. No bullying. No nothing going on there. Or even I. I almost killed those uh, buddies there. Literally. Almost. There. But I was so delighted with myself there. They didn't touch me. Never. Because I fought back. If you didn't fight back. They'll keep at you. You ever watch that movie again? What's it called? Oh, never back down. And um, your man there got bullied in school and all. And he's just like, got bullied, obviously, there in school, there, bringing up his, um, what happened to his, his um, dad and all there in car crash. What were you doing there behind the front seat? There, why didn't you just drive? He was too drunk to drive and then... He, his dad drove, drove it into a tree there. He, he, he didn't, he didn't survive. He did there. And then he was all depression there, just that, the other. Then he went into fighting then. And then he fought off this bully, bully then. That was in a, in a different school that he moved into. And then fought the bully then. What happened then? He won the fight there, but it wasn't all about the fighting or anything like that. It was the fight that, Gobshite. That was annoying me. 
that was it. That was only it there. I couldn't care less about the tournament or anything like that. I wanted to fight this little arsehole here. That guy there on camera. This guy. They were to beat him down to the ground there. And then what happens then? He bet him down, down to the ground there. Used all his skills, his motor skills and everything there. And almost killed the poor fella. The bully is. As in the fella that got bullied. Knocked him down to the ground there. Big hard fight there. As called Never Back Down movie. An absolutely super good movie to watch. If you're interested in watching. It's on Netflix as well. You guys watch that there. At the end of the at the end of the movie, near enough to the end of the movie then, the fella looks back at him there in the car. I mean, should, should I say, before he gets in the car, he opens the car door, looks at your man there, that transferred to the to that school there and bet the bully down to the ground, looks at him. As in like you passed, move on, you fought back. There. Like that. And of course then he has a girl like he 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 has his girlfriend and they have his girlfriend there. They all hop into the different cars there like that and then life goes on there. But the main thing of this of what I was trying to say is that he fought he fought back with that bully. As in you fight back and say something out there. Try and fight it there. If that if people as people always say it to everyone is that if one person can do it, you can do it. If one person can get successful there, you can do it there. Do you know what I mean? As in about anything. You can start your own company there. With a van there. Going around. Doing your own bits and pieces there. That you know what to do. There. Like that. That's um successful right there. Do you know what I mean? As in like once you're able to speak up. Do, do, do. As in like if you can do it. Then, I mean, if anyone else can do it there, you can do it too. There, try and fight those bullies. It's the only way. Like, I didn't get bullied. At all. In my lifetime so far. You know what I mean? But, other people can get bullied. Like that. There. Depends what you do as well. It's not like, oh, I got bullied for no reason. Of course, there's, there's always a reason why you got bullied. As well on top of that. Of the situation of suicides and. Doing crappy things to yourself or self harming there. Like self harming. Right. It's only like a lead up. To. Ending your life. Basically. Do you know what I mean? Like you're just like. There like doing a scrape a stare on yourself. A little deeper. A little deeper. A little deeper. And then. So it's like dude. What the hell are you doing? Oh, I'm just doing this. Quit that, you know exactly what you're at. There. You know what I mean? And there's this kind of like, once people see that, there, you raise up the sleeve there. People will look at that. There, look at your hand. About to grab something. A bit of milk or cornflakes or something out of the cereal aisle or some, some sort of something out of the shop. There. And you just grab something there. And they look at this there. With this, there's a... Dude, are you alright? No, I'm not. What the hell did you do to yourself? There. Some people can catch you out like that there. And they say, now you can talk about it there. They're interested there. Speak up, dude. Speak up, girl. And then, okay, this happened. But she did this. She, she went like this on the, on the internet and... And then this, that, the other happened, and this, that, the other in school, and this, there, I was afraid to go home, and then my parents were, nah, 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 nah. there, my brother was like, hey, hey, do you want to go and play? No, I can't, I'm, I'm scared. Like that, and then all of it rushed out there, and then, what? Hey, I, I spoke up. This is, what? I spoke up, oh my God, the clouds are actually clearing now. It's turning out to be a beautiful, beautiful day now. Sun's chirping, birds are singing there. Oh, what a lift off. That was a fantastic lift off I had. It was fucking brilliant. There, I spoke up there, but I kind of like, like got caught. But I was got caught in a good way of self-harming. There, 
got caught there, went out in public there. I was just, oh, I'm fine. I fought through my um, depression. Yes, that's the way to do it. There, like that. And it just shows that people do care. You know what I mean? There's loads of sides to this. Long fucking video I did. See you guys, and I'll see you in the next video.